What is going on guys, it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to go ahead and show you guys how to color grade inside of Final Cut Pro 10. If you guys don't know what color grading is, uh, color grading is a process of enhancing the color of a film, a video, or an image, in other, in other words. So, it's very simple and let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that right now. So, this is the footage I have imported into Final Cut Pro 10. So here is the before and the after, or well, after and before, so Right on the left side, you're going to have the color graded footage, and on the right side is the original footage. And you can tell that on the left side, it's a little bit warmer, giving it a happier, upbeat theme to the footage. And on the right side, it just looks boring, just straight out of the camera. And that's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for a happy, upbeat theme for this footage, at least. In your case, it could be different, okay? So just keep that in mind. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So I'm going to go over to the inspector. Open up the inspector. If you guys don't have that, just go over into the top. Go to window and inspector. Uh, so you're going to have a show inspector. I already have it open, so it says hide. Anyway, once you have that open in the color under effects, you're going to have correction one. Click on the arrow right here, and you're going to have global shadows, midtones, and highlights. What we want to go ahead and change is the shadow, the shadows, midtones, and the highlights. You could you could change the global, and if you guys don't know what each one of these does, uh, in other words, the global will change the whole entire image, uh, the whole color for the whole image or video, and the shadows will affect the darker areas, of course. The midtones is just the midtones. It's just in between, and the highlights is the brighter areas, okay? Now, the shadows, if you click on it, you're going to see this little target, and it shows you which one is selected. So I'm going to go over the shadows, and I'm going to drag this down just to give it a little bit of a warmer feel. The midtones, I'm going to bring this down just like that. And the highlights, to bring the brightness a little bit up, I'm just going to bring this a little bit to the left here. So top left, just like that. And then for the saturation, again, same thing. This will just change the strength of the color for the whole entire thing. For the shadows, I'm just going to go ahead and stair step this. So I'm going to bring this up just like that for midtones and the highlights, just like that. This is what I usually do for this at least. I'm going to bring this down just like that. And the exposure pretty much changes the brightness or the whole overall brightness of the film. So the shadows, I am going to go ahead and bring that up just a little bit. The midtones, I usually don't change the midtones as much. And the highlights, I'm going to bring this a little bit up because it's a little bit dark. I want to bring up the brightness because of the sun just to give it a little bit of a brighter feel. This is what we have so far. Again, you could take a long time with this, okay, guys? So this is all a matter of personal preference. And if you guys want a darker, like a moody feel, a theme, then go with cooler colors, okay? So blue, purple, pink, something like that. If you guys want something that's more upbeat, happy, then go with warmer colors, such as orange, yellow, and red, I believe. So, And that's what I'm achieving here, or what I have achieved here. Again, this is just quick. I could take forever, minutes, hours on color grading. And again, this is pretty much what color grading is. You're just enhancing the color to set it to a specific theme that you're aiming for. So this is what we have here, the before, and it looks kind of boring, and after footage here. And that looks awesome to, in my opinion. So you can see here, it just sets a, a warmer feel to the footage. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a rating below, comment for your guys' video ideas, because this week I'm aiming for your guys' suggestions. Uh, sorry for, for not posting videos lately, that's because I have been arranging my desk. And if you guys want a desk tour, please tell me in the comment section below. I, I need to do an updated one. So yeah, if you guys want that, then please tell me. So I'll see you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out.